Thanks for logging into MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm meteorologist Dave Osterberg, and here we meet again, folks, and we'll be here for every day for the next, really, six months for you to kind of cover things in terms of the 2024 hurricane season. And I'm sure since you're here that you've heard, of course, of the uh, forecasts moving forward. And yeah, this is forecast to be a very, very active season, but there are reasons for that. 17 to 25 named storms. Uh, this is coming from NOAA. Hurricanes 8 to 13, major hurricanes 4 to 7. The average is 14, 7, and 3. We are transitioning into a La Nina, which is going to really hold down the wind shear in the tropical Atlantic. Uh, plus, the sea surface temperatures, which I'm going to show you in a sec, they are just so far above normal. They're record levels. And so when something does develop, it's got a lot of juice. A lot of moisture, energy to work with, if you will. Subtropical jets less active uh, than we had the El Nino last year. Lighter trade winds, lower wind shear. So really, you put all the parameters together and all the things that we particularly look at, and they all equal a very active season. Now, water temperatures are in the mid-80s in the Caribbean. You say, well, it doesn't seem too bad. This is where they are in August. So you have to understand the main development region from the Caribbean all the way to Africa. These water temperatures are about as warm as you're going to get them right in August or September, but it's only early June. So that's again <laughs> the problem here is that we're just going to continue to warm those uh, water temperatures as well. And they're running from about 85 to 87 in the parts of the Keys Water temperatures are close to 90 degrees. Here's our list of names uh, that we hopefully don't go through, but uh, yeah, we'll definitely cross off many of these over the course of the next few months. This is the Saharan dust. Do you see it on the satellite? Typically early in the hurricane season, you get a lot of dust coming off the coast of Africa, and then it abates and moves out probably mid-July-ish or so. So typically June can be a pretty quiet month you know, averaging a name storm every couple of years. Right now, it's pretty quiet. Early June, we're not expecting any development over the, ne uh, over the next seven days. But, you know, we got a long way to go. So at least it's quiet here in the short term. So thanks for checking it out. Thanks for logging on. And we'll see you again soon.